But this rule that they're implementing at the Skyway Bridge can affect a lot of people. And what this rule is, is that you are no longer allowed to fish off the Skyway Bridge. Yes, I said it. You are no longer allowed to fish off the bridge. What kind of shit is that? Hell no! What's going on, buddy? Soliaka here. And I normally don't talk about FWC because I don't really have too many issues with FWC. But... We're going to be talking about FWC today. So, most people don't know about this new rule change that's happening. Um, and if you're from the west coast of Florida and you fish the Skyway Bridge, there are new rules that are going to be implemented on October 1st. And before we get into that, I'm going to talk about a couple other things about FWC. Now, if you don't know about FWC, you have here in the state of Florida, you have to have a fishing license unless you're under the age of 16 or over the age of 65. If you're under, you don't need it. If you're over, you don't need it. Pay attention, because that's gonna matter here in just a minute. Um, you're also allowed to fish with a cane pole in the county that you reside. So if you live in Volusia County and you wanna go fishing and you don't need a fishing license, all you need is a, a pole with a line on it, no, that cannot have a retrieval system on it. All, if it's a cane pole, you're allowed to fish in the county you reside. Now, there are certain permits that you have to have it here in the state of Florida to harvest certain types of fish, like uh, lobster, snook. To even harvest a tarpon, there is a special permit that you need. Um, about a few years ago, they passed a law about shark fishing specifically shore based shark fishing if you're on a boat different story but if you're on land whether it be the beach or the rivers if you're shoreline fishing you need to have a shark license that these some of these rules I can get because a lot of these fish are seasonal like lobster snook very seasonal so they put out permits the shark fishing I get it, they want to try to regulate how many sharks are harvested by people that don't really know what sharks they're harvesting. I kind of get it. But this rule that they're implementing at the Skyway Bridge can affect a lot of people. And what this rule is, is that you are no longer allowed to fish off the Skyway Bridge. Yes, I said it. You are no longer allowed to fish off the bridge unless you have a special online course that you pass. You must take an online course online from FWC and I will leave links in the description below to all the information I'm giving but you have to get online take this course pass the course and then you can go and you can fish the Skyway Bridge yes that sounds ridiculous right even with a valid fishing license you cannot go out to Skyway Bridge and fish without this permit or without this course I'm not in agreement with this because this is this could affect if you're not on social media and you don't get alerts from FWC and FWC is not sending you a little, you know, something in the mail that says, hey, look, you need to do this, it's going to get a lot of people in trouble. At least for that's how I feel. Now, there are rules and there are, there's more to this. There's more rules and regulations. And like I said, if you're under the age of 16, you don't need a fishing license to fish. Or if you're over the age of 65, you do not need a license to fish. But fishing off the Skyway Bridge, if you are under the age of 16, you must have an adult that has passed this course. If you're over the age of 65, you must take this course. No questions asked. So you have to get online, or I'm not even sure if you don't have a way to get online. I'm not sure how you take this course. But like I said, I'll put links in the description. All right, now there are regulatory fishing times that you can use certain items. During the month of November, from November 1st to March 15th, you are not allowed to, you are not allowed to use any type of rig that has more than one hook. And that means sabiki rigs, um, uh, vertical jigs, uh, chicken rigs and if you don't know what a chicken rig there's a weight on the bottom and then there's multiple hooks that go up the line like two or three or four or five however many you want you're not allowed to use those 
Um, if you know, like, you know, the Rapalas, the, the top water, the sub sinking pl uh, plugs, you know, they're about, you know, four to six inches, four to six inches. They got a couple treble hooks on the bottom of them. You cast them out and you, you kind of pop them. Yeah. Can't use those off the bridge either. During this time, the other one is, is a multi hook. So anything that has more than one hook on it, and that goes for lures or anything. And most of those plugs that I was talking about all come with treble hooks. You can find them with single hooks on them, but if you have any of these lures, you can't use them. You cannot use anything that has a has multi hooks on them. Um, that's two hooks or three treble hooks or uh, double hooks. Can't use those at all. And I have a big problem with this, is mainly because this is this. A lot of people don't just they just pick up their stuff and they go fishing and for those people that don't pay attention to these things they're gonna be sitting out there with their family having a good old time just sitting there and they're gonna be approached by FWC and they, they they very well could get ticketed for this I don't know what the ticket prices are gonna be but from my my knowledge most anytime that you deal with FWC and they give you a fine that fine can vary from about a hundred dollars and it can go all the way up to whatever whatever number within reason I'm not saying it's gonna be a five million dollar fine for you to do this but it's at minimum it could be a, a, a one hundred dollar fine if you have to go to court for it it could be a hundred dollar fine plus the court fees so you could talk a hundred a hundred fifty to two hundred dollars per person that violate any one of these rules and I'm just I get why we want to conserve the fish and in, in the wildlife here in the state of Florida but from the website all I'm getting from this is that they want to preserve the the birds they, they're trying to protect the birds this ha it doesn't so much have to do with the fish being entangled in hooks and lines and things of that nature this concern the concern is for the birds and, they, I'm, and I'm not saying that you know Jokingly, I'm saying it, it literally is about birds. So, like I said, um, I'm not fully in agreement with this because I, I feel this. Oh, and, and I did talk to um, an Emily at FWC. She, um, she's one of the PIOs for, if you know a PIO, that's a public information officer. They, they talk to the public or they talk to the media, whichever way you want to look at it. And um, she was explaining that you know there may be kind of they're gonna be doing this for the next year or two and looking at all the information me personally if there's not a sign and I said that to her too if there's not like a sign as people are entering into these parks because it's a state park at the Skyway Bridge if there's not like some kind of sign or if the, the Rangers aren't saying hey make sure you have this type of course it's almost like you're getting set up and I don't agree with this because there's millions of people here in the state of Florida that don't pay attention, that really honestly don't even pay attention to the regulations of fish. You know, I, I've, I've met numerous people out fishing and I see them catching a shark and I'm like, oh, do you, have, do, you, do you have the course that you need to keep a shark? And they're looking at me all stupid. They're like, what? I, I need to take a course to keep this fish? I'm like, yeah. And they're like, no. And I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, I'm not selling you out. I'm just letting you know if you get caught. They, they will find you for it. And then they looked it up and they were like, that's crazy. And most people don't know about it. And if you don't know fishing regulations and you do fish, get the FWC app, go to my FWC, just put in FWC app and it'll pop right up. Get that app and that app will actually allow you to kind of, it's not the most easy thing, but it'll, it's access to the regulations of fish for both East Coast of Florida the west coast of Florida and even as you get down towards Monroe County it gives you regulations down there as well so this is this is just me trying to let you know that this could affect certain people down or over on the west coast it affect it, it will affect me I have to get that course because I do fish the Skyway Bridge but I just think and it, thankfully it's free but I don't I don't think it has to get into this point I don't think, because a lot of people don't have internet access. Some people don't know 
how to speak English. They're trying to translate it into English and Spanish. And I, I go one step further and, and put it in, um, I'm not sure how what the, the Haitian language is, but I would put it in the Haitian language because there's a lot of Haitian people that have migrated here and live here and probably live over there that probably would probably won't even know, have no clue. And so it'll be interesting doing records requests. And this goes into effect October 1st, so in three days. So um, it's important if you're over there fishing, go ahead, sign up for the online course. It's free. And uh, yeah, I just, me personally, not, not in agreement with it. And um, I will be doing records requests probably, you know, every three months, every six months, just to see how many people have been cited and how many tickets have been issued and how and so on and so forth so that's all I have pretty much have to say if you have any comments or any questions put them down in the comment section below uh, or email me at the arm fisherman and uh, like I said there will be links to a lot of this any information that I can give to you will be in the description and the pinned comment so that you can educate yourself as well and uh, I'm gonna get out of here Soli Ecker deuces